All right, so just kind of a last note. How do you how do you think that the community um, has helped you with your journey and in your uh, job and and that type of thing as far as being able to immerse yourself in that. Uh, not just structure, but with the camaraderie that you get with the other people, and how has that helped, or has it helped, or has it not helped, and uh, why is that, or is that not important with the whole journey? I mean, for instance, moths. For instance, how many self-help books are there out there? Mm -hmm. And how many people, after reading those self-help books, not that there's anything wrong with self-help books, uh, or watching a Peace Walker video, or whatever, but then there's doing the work. You could take any one of those books, whether it's business or personal development or philosophy or Krav Maga or whatever, read the book and then just read the next book and you feel like you're doing something. But there's no foundation underneath it as far as helping you to apply it. And that's where I think the community really helps is to not just not really help you to apply it, but help you with the journey of applying it in your life. Yeah. Uh, but can you speak to that at all as far as what your thoughts are as far as developing this community of uh, like-minded individuals? Yeah, well, I've seen a number of benefits to training as a community. Um, first one that pops into mind is you're a lot more likely, you know, on, on the days where I really don't want to do anything active, if I know that I've got a group of people who I'm um, kind of responsible to and can, you know, help me feel better, um, I feel much more likely to go and tie in with that group. So I actually get up and go to class and actually train uh, because I know I'm going to be seeing those people later and you know I, I like our community a lot so I actually want to help. Um, another big thing that's kind of funny that I wouldn't have thought about is you've got to be willing to be vulnerable yeah. Yeah. in order to go in there because uh, you know, any given day in class, you could be the one who ends up tripping over your own feet right. just doing the basics. Um, and we have a good, strong core group of individuals in there who are completely okay with that and are not going to point it out and not going to worry about ranking too much. where you're at. Yeah, not too, yeah, enough to let you know that you're a part of the group, but right. not enough not to Enough to make you, you, make to you feel counselor. so crappy that you... Yeah. And want to take your own life. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's uh, that'd be a that'd be an unhealthy group. But um, but yeah, being a part of that community, it has allowed me to more honestly look at where I'm at and open up to people who are in there. Uh, be it with physical stuff, physical techniques, or yeah. be it with, uh, you know, I've just got some questions about something, and I happen to know that there's two or three other people who specialize in it. I feel like <laughs> I'm comfortable. I can come to them for help. Um, and not only do they know about that particular topic, but they also have an idea of how to take the Peace Walker approach and apply it to that topic. Yep. Um, I know I'm thinking of a couple specific instances where I was having trouble with uh, managing the behavior of some of my students. And so I came into class and I was, I was asking around, I actually talked to um, Larry about it. And he said, well, you know what I do is I, I will follow this approach and I'll ask them to do something and then I'll document it, document it, document it um, and use that to either help them change their behavior or, you know, sometimes they got to go. So, right. you know, even that's just one little example, but it's so important that you become a part of that community because it helps you maintain that internal momentum to keep growing. Yep. It takes a lot to keep growing. It's easy to stay static. Absolutely. Yep. You know, myself included, I mean, it's really easy to kind of hold on to your territory and not expand at all yeah. um and quite frankly your territory continues to shrink <laughs> because it's Time like working out yeah. yeah you know you don't work out once and then wow i'm i'm in shape now good to go <laughs> all right it's like no i'm in shape today yep. and if i tomorrow i'll be in a little less shape and then you know two months from now i'll be in a lot less shape and so on and so forth. Well, the same thing, and I think the community helps, I know it helps me to be motivated and also to continue to learn as well. Yep. So it's not this hierarchy of, there's a guy up here and then everybody else is down here. You know, it's very uh, very much a circle yep. to where we're all in it together and different people might have different specialities yep. and that you can draw from, but we're very much on the same kind of path. Uh, 
but that camaraderie and that shared adversity really helps. I know it's helped me with my journey, and I've seen it help so many other people, and that's why it's been a, a huge effort to replicate that live community and replicate that online. And we're growing incrementally, and I, I foresee that growing a lot more. And that's a challenge point for, for me, too, because I'm not... You may not even know that out there, but I'm really not that public of a guy. I, I'm a pretty private guy, so it's been a big stretch to do a lot of this type of stuff, and, and even online stuff, you know. If I had my way, I'd be the guy in the mountain, you know, just give me a freaking dome tent and woods and a couple beers and a campfire. I'm pretty good. I don't mind, you know, going down. You can down. climb the mountain and ask the sage for advice, but yeah. I want to go ask a sage for advice. Yeah. Here's your advice. There's no people around, there's less problems. Yep. Right? But that's not reality. And I enjoy being around people too. So having those skills for me has been, have been huge because I've always been the gun shy guy. I'm not really that gun ho, I'm, I'm more the gun shy. And then it got to the point where I just flipped the switch. So over the years, I've had to learn how to develop the tools. And what I've seen over the years is really what Peace Walker has. Um, turned into in my first course that I created I was in my 20s was the psychology of self-defense that was in 1994 93 so I was 23 24 um, and then that developed into another program called the life mastery uh, program and then that split off into her survival guide and peace walker and you know so it's evolved for me over the period of decades of my both learning kind of scholastically if you want to say that or you know other people's stuff but also my observation of my and my learning through my mistakes in all these different whether it's security or business or um, relationships and that type of thing and seeing some people wow that really was not good <laughs> oh that one was good over here right and sometimes same thing with me when I I noticed some things about myself that when I did this and acted in this way and said these things and responded in this way during a situation, things worked out better. And when I responded this other way and said these other things and was in this mental state and things weren't as good. So one of my big, I think, attributes is I'm able, I've been able to connect the dots a lot. And unfortunately, I don't see a lot of people, their ability to do that is limited, especially with nowadays. I think with online stuff is it's so customized to each of us that it's hard for us to connect the dots. Yeah. So that's another reason why PeaceWalker.net is helping you to connect the dots. I want you to be able to connect the dots strategically and, and uh, uh, not just technically, but tactically and, and in your life. Forget all the fancy words. The idea of it is to live a better life. And part of that means that you can protect yourself and protect the people that you love, but also protect the lives of people that you might not even know, but do it in a way that's not gonna bring harm to yourself. Yeah. And I think one thing that's that's helped with that, and this is a really unique thing about classes, just uh, and the and the community <laughs> online as well. When I go in there and I look around, we tend to kind of gravitate towards like-minded people yeah. and people who are like us. So you get caught in a in a tunnel. Um, this is a very different scenario. There is a goal in mind. We all want to become better protectors. But I have met and become good friends with so many people who otherwise I wouldn't meet or interact with. We right. might not be in the same circles, you know, we might not have the same jobs, the same political ideals, the same religions, right. the same friends. Right. Um, and I think it's easy for us to kind of avoid that, not necessarily that we don't like those people, but if they don't think the same way we do, we don't tend to interact with them. Well, and uh, I'll and, bring the, on the online component again. Yeah. Right, so thank you Amazon and Facebook and all that to where you start, okay, I like this type of a thing, I like that type of mentality, well, what do they do? With all the algorithms, now you start being fed that. So yep. kind of two things happen. Number one is I think you think the whole world's that way, yep. and then you start to, you don't even realize it, but you start to demonize or disassociate yourself and, and be less tolerant of and respectful towards yep. the others, the others. And one of the big things about Peace Walker, why I've been transitioning over the past couple of years from more of the corporate stuff and more of the organizational, um, police-oriented and military-oriented and security-oriented to more of a general orientation, not that I'm stopping doing the other stuff, but I want everybody to realize that the life, the idea of protection of life and us as protectors is the central piece. Yep. Regardless if you're a cop, teacher, 
IT professional, um, business person, parent, soldier, cop, I don't care. The thing that we have in common is we're all human beings and that life is valuable. And it's not that your value has diminished at all. If I have to discipline you, deal with you, protect myself from you, arrest you, put you in detention, fire you, or maybe even, this sounds kind of extreme, but even kill you, it's not because you're a piece of shit. It's not because you're less than I am. Yep. It's because your actions kind of dictated my response to them in protection of myself or protecting someone else who maybe couldn't protect themselves. Um, and hopefully the individual has the spectrum of skills that are necessary to do the most good least harm within the circumstance. Um, so that's why the Peace Walker skills are such to give people that whole spectrum, not just off, on, right. <laughs> you know, because um, let's face it, life is sticky and things aren't an action movie, but also they're not always easy going. Okay. You know, it's all that stuff in between. And if you commit to being part of a community, it makes that that much more clear to you and helps you develop that skill and actually grow it instead of just saying, well, I learned the system, I'm good to go. Yeah, check here's the box, my, yeah. good to go. Yeah. Yeah, I, uh, that's here's my I, certificate, I'm not the problem, you're the problem. Right, <laughs> not me, it's you, thank you very much. I don't want to change my worldview or you know my, my habits. Yeah, I don't want them challenged. No, yeah. I'm, I want to keep doing what I do because it feels comfortable to me yeah. and then I expect everybody else to change to, to fit and suit that. Yeah. Um, and having a community and the camaraderie and that brotherhood, so to speak, helps us to feel connected to get us, I think, through some of the rough spots yeah. and to make the the good spots even better. Yep. Amen. Yep. So, so there you go. There's a little bit of Rob's story. Thank you for sharing. Appreciate it, Rob. Yeah. And uh, thanks for sharing some of that discussion with with us. And I will see you, and Rob will see you on the community.